Good morning, it's June 21 and that means it's day 21 on our journey through the Bible. Thank you so much for joining us for a word for today. I am not alone. I am here with Siba Belwe. Did I get that right? Please, please, please uh, pronounce it correctly. My name is Siba Belwe. Yeah, you see, now, let me, let me, um, can I give an excuse why I mispronounced her? I know her as Siba. By the way, Siba sings alto in our praise team. Day one, you saw Marco, he's the tenor. Yes. Uh, day two, you saw Melissa, and she's the soprano. Soprano. So I know her as Siba. Now she's telling me, no, this is not my name. Your full name is Siba Balwe. Okay. Um, Fenny, don't miss that. Fenny. And I pronounced that correctly. Yes, you did. <gasps> Wonderful. Okay. So, um, what does your name mean? My name basically means we've been blessed. We've been blessed. We've been and blessed. in what language is that? Tosa. Tosa. Okay. So yesterday we had uh, Sivuyile and his name meant we're happy. Yes. And he told us that maybe his parents called, uh, called him uh, we're happy because he was the, the firstborn, uh, because he was the son, right? Oh, okay. Um, your name means we're blessed. Yes. Um, your parents were blessed. You're also the firstborn. Yes, I am. Okay. And, and so she's a, the daughter. So whether it be a son or a daughter, the parents are happy. They are blessed. And that is God's providence. What are you studying here at Helderberg College? I am doing industrial psychology. Industrial psychology. Okay, yeah. great. And what year are you in? Second year. Second year. Okay, fantastic. God bless you in, in your studies. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. So we're in Genesis chapter 21. What is your word for today? My word for today is promise. Promise. Yes. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a good word. Um, We've already, we've already looked at, um, in our word for today, the word sworn, the word reward, the word covenant. We've looked at the rainbow and it's all been connected to God's faithfulness and, and his promise. But we see in Genesis 21 also the promise. Now, what verse do we find uh, that word promise? Okay, so it's found in verse 1 actually. Okay, so if you have your Bibles, turn to Genesis 21 verse number 1 and I'm going to ask Seba if you can please read that for us. Okay, and so it reads Genesis 21 verse 1. The Lord kept his word and did for Sarah exactly what he had promised. Wow. Beautiful. What version? What translation of the yeah, Bible is that? The New Living New Translation. New Living Translation, but whatever version you have. But I like I like that uh, rendering. The Lord kept His word. Uh, he was faithful in keeping His word. Now, why did you choose the word promise? So basically, I chose this word because it just sparked something to me as a person that likes saying pinky promise. Mm. I don't think I actually looked into the fact that what this word means mm. until i looked for it in the dictionary and it basically means a declaration of assurance okay yes. wonderful so the assurance based on what god has said he will fulfill wonderful and when you say because we we spend time together as, as the praise team always singing and uh, and that word assurance just reminds me of um blessed the assurance, assurance. Jesus is mine. It, it, your word promise reminds me of standing on the promises. Oh God. There we go. All right. So, uh, so many hymns come to mind. But um, what lesson from that word promise? And we've read it and we encourage you to read the rest of the chapter. There's so many lessons to learn. So inspiring, so encouraging. But what can you give to our, our watchers, our viewers, our listeners um, as encouragement based on this word promise? Okay, I firstly want to give a background on what was happening mm. because we are being told here of Sarah and Abraham and God is saying that he had promised that he's going to pull through and give them a child. And when we look at this, Sarah was at the age of 90, mm. if I'm saying it correctly, and Abraham was 100 years old. And old. That's, the, that's very old <laughs> and it's past the bearing age. Mm. But God comes here and he says that, as I had promised you, we don't hear if um, he had said this, 
but we can assume that it's wishes that he had for them mm. and when i looked into this i i saw us you know in the modern day life we look at ourselves and be like we're so old we are we are um full of sins and we are this and we're that mm. but that's not god how that's not how he views us mm. because there's a statement that says um god quali qualifies the unqualified and that's what he did here because sarah was past the age of bearing but mm. because of what god had planned for them here he comes and um giving them this promise mm. which was the son isaac amen that, that reminds me of um of the verse we find in jeremiah 29 verse 11 god says i know the plans I that i have for you thank you so much for for sharing that with us and um based on your word for today i want to give a challenge for those who are watching can you share with us your favorite promise from god in the bible any promise in the bible leave it in the comment section below and uh, and give us the the verse reference where we can find it in the bible thank you for that word promise is there any final thought or anything that you'd like to say just to to end our time together Okay, I want to say to us today, um, the many promises that God uh, has put for us in the Bible, like the one that you just mentioned now, I have plans for you, plans not to perish your life, but to make your life prosper. I will always love you. Um, I will come for you. Mm. Like the many, the many. And the certain promises that are conditioned that God wants us to do something do some sort of work but they're ones that are unconditional and basically this is to prove that it's not about us but who god is mm. because you can see here as much as abraham was has been faithful and he had been obedient but it wasn't about that it was about god's faithfulness and about him mm. which just continues to show how great of a father we, that we have mm. which is just amazing it's amazing thank we thank god for his uh, his promises and with that in mind can we go to to prayer okay Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you have blessed us with. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness and love and the mercy that you continue to bestow in our lives. Um, we are grateful, Lord, for this beautiful word that we have just read today that reminds us, Lord, of your promises. Um, may you um, help us to remember that um, that's faithful to grant us these promises. And um, I pray that you may continue to bless us, breathe us. I ask this believing in your Lord, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Siba. For those who didn't understand everything in that prayer, it was in uh, Kosa. Don't worry, um, should I translate it? or <laughs> let, let, Let's let Siba translate that. She's going to leave it in the comment section uh, below. Um, and we will see you in the comment section below. Ask your questions, give your reflections, your personal devotion, and, uh, and your word for today. What word in Genesis chapter 21 stood out for you, impressed? you something that you want to emphasize we'll see you in the comment section below later today and we'll see you in our video tomorrow as we take a look at genesis chapter 22 you won't want to miss it but until then may god richly bless you thanks for watching for all your queries and comments questions and answers observations applications reservations and consternations you can leave them all in the comment section below and don't forget, sharing is caring. So don't keep the past to be channeled to yourself. Don't be selfish. Go and tell somebody. Admit it. You liked that, didn't you? Hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to the Past the Beat YouTube channel. I don't want you to miss any content. So make sure that you leave.